This is Bart Hopkin here again. I'm the maker of the instruments featured in the Hopkin Instrumentarium series of samples libraries from SoundIron. I've been making uh, these short videos to introduce people to the physical instruments that those sample libraries are based on. In this one, I'm going to be talking about the instruments featured in uh, the samples library from SoundIron called rattle tines. That one has several instruments, closely related instruments in it. We can start by talking about this one. This instrument is a, in many ways a fairly typical lamellophone, that is a, you could say a kalimba-like instrument, but with this one important feature. In front of each of these tines here, there's a piece of metal positioned quite close to the bridge just under the tine, fairly heavy metal, positioned so that when the tine is plucked, it rattles against the metal piece. And this kind of drastically alters the sound. It doesn't sound like a typical lamellophone sound. So, um, these metal pieces are are fairly heavy bolts, which are screwed in from underneath. That's good because it makes them adjustable. And it turns out that very slight differences in the positioning of the bolt make a big difference in the sound. So you can get this wide variety of sounds. Some of them have fairly short duration. I think this one, yeah. Some of them have very long sustain, like this one. See, it's still going on. Some of them have ascending pitch. I think this one has ascending pitch. Yeah, you can hear it going up there. Some have descending pitch. I think this one. Yeah, and this one. So you can get this wide variety of sounds from it. Now, the instrument also has another bank of tines which are unrattled. So these just sound like normal, normal kalimba tines. The reason I have both types is they actually work nicely together. You can put together a nice sort of improvisation or solo piece uh, using these two sounds together because they, they offset one another nicely. <laughs> that wasn't the greatest example, but that, that you get the idea. They, they work nicely together, so it's fun to play solos on this thing. Um, with the samples library, you could just as well use it as a solo instrument like that, using just sounds from this instrument. Or, of course, you can also use it in ensemble. Uh, the sounds work pretty well in ensemble because they cut through nicely, so that's good. But also, on the other hand, um, the sounds are complex and very unusual, so it is also nice if you can isolate them, find the right moment to have them come through, and you get their unique character and color. Um, they can work well as part of a rhythmic groove. You can build the sounds into a, an ongoing groove of some sort. Or you can, uh, another thing that works nicely is to use them just as coloristic accents here and there. You know, if you can get this isolated sound to jump in at some odd moment, it can be, you know, just the thing in some peculiar circumstances, whatever you may come up with. They can work nicely like that as well. Okay, so that's this one. That's some of the ways that this works and how it can be used. Uh, let's go on to the next one. Here's another rattle tine instrument from the rattle tine sample library. On this one, the rattles take the form of little loops of wire put through a small hole in each tine. But before going on, let's 
Think a moment about some of the other well-known lamellophone type instruments. For instance, mbira, the Shona mbira. Now that's one of the most beautiful instruments in the world. And it also has rattles on it. In the mbira, they take the form of usually bottle caps, something metallic that can it loosely be loosely attached and rattle against the body of the instrument when the instrument sounds. The way the mbira is designed, the, um, the body vibrates quite strongly. And that's enough to make the bottle caps get going and to add this nice, nice sort of edge to the tone. The difference with this one here is that uh, each time has its own rattle, so it can respond in its own particular way to the frequencies of that particular time. Notice that the tines on this one are just hacksaw blades. You know, it's like a found object instrument almost, just using old hacksaw blades. They work very nicely because they're made of these hardened tool steels which vibrate well. They're about the right size and thickness, so... There they are. And here is one more rattled tine instrument. This one is a lot like the other one that, that you just saw. The, the, uh, the rattles take the form of short loops of lightweight wire looped through holes in the individual times. Now, the big difference between this one and the one that you heard before is that uh, it has to do with the fact that if you've seen some of these other videos I've been talking about this, perhaps you've heard me say this before, the overtones in lamellophone tines tend to be inharmonic. So in the one that you heard before, those overtones were simply left inharmonic. And it happens that the rattles bring out the overtones a bit. They tend to highlight the overtones. And so that one has these very strong inharmonics giving the tone a uh, sort of complex, piquant sound quality. This one, I have, um, I have shifted the positioning of the most prominent of the overtones. You can do that by the shaping of the bar. I've done the shaping of the tine on the underside where you can't see it. And that has placed what would otherwise be a very prominent inharmonic overtone, it has placed it two octaves above the fundamental. And once again, the, the, the rattle is bringing out this sound. So if you listen to the rattle sound as I play now, maybe you can hear that, that you've got the rattling glittery sound two octaves above the fundamental. I don't know if that's audible or not, but hopefully you can get a sense of what I'm talking about. What it means as a practical matter is that this instrument has very clear pitch with that octave reinforcement in there, and you can use it in all kinds of musical contexts, and it should come through with nice clear pitch. The other one, mostly it's going to be fine, but in some contexts, uh, the, the pitch sense may get a little bit ambiguous. Okay, if you purchased the Rattletine sample library, from SoundIron, you're going to get a whole lot of software tools which will enable you to mess around with these sounds all you want and do all kinds of crazy things. So you might prefer the, uh, the natural acoustic sounds that I've been demonstrating or you might prefer to play around with them a bit and come up with some rather different sounds of your own. Either way, have fun, be creative, make some good music.